Okay, hey guys. So as you can tell by my bun, um, I recently got back from the gym and I saw something. I had to make this video even if absolutely nobody watches it. I wanted to make a video because one of my biggest pet peeves in the gym, I just watch like two people watch it. That's, that's fine, that's fine. But I needed to put this out into the world. Um, my biggest pet peeve at the gym is women who do booty band exercises. Now, <laughs> there is a time and a place where those are effective. I, I'll get into that in a sec. But my biggest pet peeve in the entire world when I'm at the gym um, has been all these women that see these booty band exercises on Instagram that are being marketed to them by most mostly by women that um, are, are do not go to the gym every day and did not get the butt in those pictures by <laughs> using those band exercises um, let's just leave it there um, and then <laughs> I just I always see women in the gym who they go upstairs they do their 45 minutes of cardio like steady state cardio and then they come downstairs and they do like oh, they do like band squats with a low resistance band and then they'll do like hip bridges and a couple kickbacks and that's their whole day and I just it drives me up the wall <laughs> because I was a personal trainer for a long time. Um, I am somebody that goes to the gym a lot um, and I can tell you like, that's just not going to do it for you, sweetie. <laughs> um, that, and it's, it's, it sucks because like, I don't like laughing at new people in the gym, you know, it's, it's sort of like, I love that they're there and they're trying, but I see these women who are there every day and they do these booty band exercises every day and they go for years to the gym and their ass looks the same. Like, <laughs> um, and I just want to put out some better information into the world on how to grow your butt because I just, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Um, all right. So first of all, um, a lot of the women who market, um, their booty building plans online have to put something different out there, um, so that you will buy their plan. Uh, nothing's really changed in the turn in, in like leg building, butt building, like in the bodybuilding world, like that hasn't really changed in the last 50 years. Your squats, your deadlifts, your lunges are going to be the best things to build your butt. Like just they are. Um, but because they want to get you to buy their plan and follow their page, they want to show you like weird different things and things you might not have thought of. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. Oh my goodness. Um, but and stuff like that. So, so a lot of those things are not actually stuff that those women do on a day-to-day -day basis. If they have a great butt and they built it through hard work, they are probably sticking to those three main things and they are doing a bodybuilding style leg day program um, for their butt. Um, I'll get into a bit like some of my favorite things to do for my butt, um, but, uh -huh, but uh, those girls are usually not doing those four moves for your butt that you see in the magazines. I'm just, just saying. Um, uh, right, so ways you can actually build your butt. Now, this is what I want to get out into the world. Um, it's a muscle, you have to train it like one. You're not going to get anything from doing high volume, low weight kind of things like body weight squats are great. You can get a burn in your legs from body weight squats, but the best results you're going to get is from training that, um, training your glutes like a muscle. So if you're a man and you want to grow your biceps, what are you going to do? Okay. You're going to lift heavy weight. Okay. You're going to lift heavy weight and fatigue the muscle. Um, and then you're going to follow that up with some like low weight, like literally stuff that you can only do five times and you die. You're like <laughs> on the last two. And then you're going to follow that up with some supersets of some things that are like, maybe you'll do a couple different, um, maybe you do bicep, <laughs> you can't really see me, bicep go this way and this way and this way, um, to try and just really fatigue the muscle and get the different parts of the muscle and work it a different way. Now, um, you would do for your, all your other stuff, like I usually recommend doing like at least 10 reps, so like 10 to 15 reps um, for everything else. But your main thing, your muscle building things should be in the lower rep range. Um, that is how you grow muscle. 
okay um and you should apply those same things when you're trying to grow your butt so when you're doing squats you want to do heavy squats when you're doing lunges you want to do something you can do like eight times tops okay um deadlift same thing you want to do heavy weight is going to be the best way to shock your system and make sure that you are adding on as much booty as you can uh, for your time in the gym <laughs> okay that's that's just the biggest one there is uh secondly nutrition really matters so if you are on a low carb diet or a low calorie a very low calorie diet it's gonna be hard okay um aim for a maintenance diet um like something you can kind of maintain and still you know still make progress but not anything really drastically reduced calories or anything like that um you want to make sure you have energy in the gym for your leg day and your booty day but the biggest thing nutrition wise is actually um okay the biggest thing nutrition wise is to have carbs after your meal um i could do an entire dedicated video on why this is the case um but carbs are going to be the most anabolic stimulant that you can have um and what that means is all right i'm gonna spare you the details metabolism wise but when you exercise you induce micro tears in the muscle and it's not protein after the workout actually it's um it's carbohydrates so when you have carbohydrates after your workout your insulin levels are going to spike to take those carbs into your muscle um bringing carbs into the muscle is um and that spike in insulin is the biggest signal your body can have to build 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 so if you want to maximize your time in the gym definitely make sure you are having something with carbs after your workout just to make sure that none of that is going to waste now <laughs> I see so many women on the Smith machine. <laughs> Smith machine has a time and a place. If the squat rack is full, I, I've been, I, I've used it before. Um, sometimes if I'm really trying to just like do as, as many exercises as I can and like fatigue the muscle as much as I can, I will do my squats, my other things, and then Smith machine is one of the last things I'll do. Um, but notice the order. So like the Smith machine shouldn't be the main way you do squats because you're missing out on a lot of the stabilizer muscles um, and a lot just you're just going to get a nicer butt from doing squats with a, with a regular barbell in the cage. Um, it's just how it is. Uh, okay, so I see so many women on the Smith machine and they don't squat parallel. They, they look like they're, they think they're squatting parallel, but they're not even close. Okay, you want to squat as deep as you can. Um, that is going to recruit the entirety of your glute max, which is the big part of your butt cheek, and then um, the, as well, parts of your glute min and medius, which is um, the smaller muscles under your butt, um, under your like butt cheek part of your glute muscle okay <laughs> so I always see people going like not even to parallel barely to parallel and why that's bad is because you are mostly doing quad work at that point um, you're the the glute activation you have is very minimal so by going way deeper you are gonna get way more butt for every rep that you're doing if that makes sense um, <laughs> yeah, if your butt is not sore at all and it's always your quads, you're probably not going deep enough on your squats or your accessories suck. Your butt should be sore the next day. All right, so heavy weight on squats and Smith machine if you want must, but after regular squats. Um, all right, and go deep on those squats. Uh, the other thing is you want to train your hamstrings. All right, now this might be not intuitive to people, but the bigger your hamstrings are, the more it kind of acts like a push-up bra for your for your butt cheek. Okay, so the your hamstrings actually, I mean, I won't get into the insertions and origins of all the muscles in your body, but your hamstrings are going to sit underneath the they're going to end underneath your butt cheek. So the bigger your hamstrings are, the more your butt is gonna gonna do this. If that makes sense to you. Um, also, the more you the, the more jacked your hamstrings are, the more your legs are going to do this, which is going to in turn make your butt look bigger than it is. Um, all right, that's the thing. So main exercises should be your squats and your deadlifts. The best my butt has ever looked um, is when I'm doing lots of those two things. Um, and then uh, stiff legged deadlifts are really great for hamstrings um, as well, like hamstring curls, very awesome. You can do stiff-legged deadlifts with the barbell, with dumbbells, stuff like that. 
um, I have a separate de a dedicated video on all my favorite butt exercises. Now, okay, uh, lunges. Everyone hates them. Everybody I've ever personal trained hates lunges. They are the best thing that you could do for your butt. Um, you can do them a lot of different ways. You can do them standing, you can do them walking, you can do them um, with your back leg on something like a split squat. Um, you can do them in the Smith machine, you can do them with dumbbells, free weights, whatever. Um, you can do them a lot of different ways. And lunges are just amazing for, for your butt. So whatever you're doing in the gym, finish it up with lunges and it'll make a huge difference. So, I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's my leg, and your glute is responsible for bringing your leg backwards, so kicking it back. So that's why kickbacks are like, you know, you see people doing them. Um, and then as well, they are responsible for this motion here. So like, your leg's coming like out and then back. That makes more sense. Okay. All right, so your leg's going out like this and back like that. So that's what your glute does so when you use bands um, bands <laughs> when you use bands what it does is it activates um, your glutes more in a squat because they're forcing them to do this so that your knees don't like knock together so if you're doing a squat with bands your leg is you're automatically going to activate the muscles involved in this motion um, so that your knees don't knock together now okay should absolutely not be <laughs> your main workout. It should be at the end or in addition to other things, <laughs> right? All right, um, you can do them doing band exercises. You can make your hip thrust much more difficult by adding them on, um, but you should still do things with weight um, like on them, uh, absolutely. Um, yeah, bands have a time and a place. If I am vacationing or um, I am at home and I really don't want to go to the gym or for some reason or, or whatever, or gym's closed, um, you can literally just take a band and do like something at home like really quick. Hold on. Um, yeah, so, band, so bands have a time and a place, um, but they should definitely not be your main exercise at all, okay? Um, they're good as a side exercise or as an accessory, okay? Um, let's just let's just leave it there. Uh, I, oh man, it's, it's getting to the point where so many women see all these Instagram models that are promoting their things and, and um, yeah, so what I'm trying to say is bands have a time and a place, um, but they shouldn't be your main exercise. And hopefully those are some tips on how to get a better butt uh, naturally and, and all that. Uh, all right, so thank you guys so much. Um, if anybody cares, um, I actually did another video going through some of my favorite uh, leg day things. Um, if you wanna see that, what I really like doing is hip thrust. So um, those are the glute bridges you see everyone doing with the bands, okay? Um, but hip thrust, the way I'm thinking about it is heavy weight. So either you can put a plate on your um, on your hips and have your shoulders leaned up against a um, against a bench. You can either do it with a plate, um, like a 45 pound plate, on your hips, um, and just kind of <laughs> it looks like you're just thrusting in the air. Um, or you can do that with like a barbell and a whole setup going on. Um, I usually prefer barbell with like you know a couple plates aside. The point here is that you want to do it heavy. So if you can do 10, up the weight. And that comes back to you want to train it like a, like a real muscle, right? Um, hip thrusts are probably the best way to isolate the glutes. Um, I would have them, um, I don't do them all the time. Um, I think lunges and squats are definitely the, the best things for your butt, um, but they are the best isolation exercise, absolutely. Um, the other thing is variety, so don't do the same thing every single week. Um, you really want to change it up. So one week um, I'll do like, I usually start with uh, squats um, and then I'll do, so some days I do heavy, really heavy squats, like a two rep max all the way and lots of warm up and drop sets. Um, and some weeks I'll start with squats that are way lighter, that are like eight to 10 range or whatever. Um, and some squats, some days I'll do like a, like a 15 rep range with like just a plate or something like that. 
Um, so definitely change up your rep range and change up your um, your routine. Um, so most most of the time, my my routine kind of looks like like this. So I'll have squats, heavy squats. I'll do stiff legged deadlifts again, heavy. Um, to the point I'm struggling, it feels heavy. Um, and then I will do um, stiff legged deadlifts with uh, dumbbells, okay, um, as opposed to a barbell. Um, and then I will do goblet squats or something else that's squat related, usually goblet squats with a band. Um, and I'll get to where you want to use the band in a sec. Um, and then I'll go into doing hamstring curls, leg extensions, and then I will always, 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 no matter what, finish up with lunges. So I'll either do lunges third or last. Um, sometimes I do lunges in the cage, um, sometimes uh, lately I've been really liking just we have a track by the gym and I will just finish it up with one lunge, I'll just lunge the entire track, uh, <laughs> which sounds so much, it's so much easier than it is, or I'll just take the 100 meters, um, like you know the 100 meter dash uh, lines and I will just lunge that five times and I will leave and I will literally stumble up the stairs. If your legs are not sore, you are doing it not right. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.